And here we go. The penultimate level of the game. And basically the last long level. Because the next level is simply a boss level. Nothing real special about it. Kind of an annoying boss too, but... Hey. I guess I couldn't think of any super, super duper monsters to put in there. So that's the way it is. So you gotta press that switch to continue. And you gotta be careful because there's monsters up there that are shooting at you. I'm just eager to get this done, because my, my playing has gotten really sloppy on these later levels, mostly because I don't like them, and I'm trying to beat the 10 minute marker on a lot of these. And I've skipped secrets, I've just been really rushing, but I'm just trying to get this through, because I don't like these levels, and I'm just eager to get it done, because this has been on hiatus for a long time, as you've noticed. I'm just ready to finally call it a day, so I don't feel obliged to make more videos. So, yeah, I just showed you what to do so far, so gotta take care of these baddies. Watch out for the fucking chain gun, goddamn. See, I, I usually wouldn't make mistakes like this, getting hurt all the time and getting stuck on monsters and walking into stupid traps and all that good stuff, but I'm just rushing. I mean, I'm sure you'd probably rush too if you're trying to beat a 10 minute marker and you're playing a pretty long level to boot. So, take care of those goddamn lost souls. They're really pissing me off. And we'll move on to this next bit. Watch out, chain gun guy spawn. Just run to the teleporter and avoid him. Uh oh, Mr. Revenant. That needs to take care of. Yeah, Revenants are laughably easy in Doom 3, but that's another story. Alright, he's toast. Now, that door opens behind us. We need to hit here. Oh, triple hell knife threat. Let's take him down. Super shotgun recommended, but if you got ammo for other weapons, especially the plasma rifle, I'd recommend that too. I'm trying not to pick up all these med kits that are lying around, but I just wander into them. I don't really mean to, but it's just inevitable. Alright, get the soul sphere, take care of all these cacodemons, there's gonna be a fuckload of them. I can't really pay attention to all of them, so I just kinda do that wiggle strafe to get away from them. I'll jump back down here for safety. Oh shit, but don't fall down. That's not what you wanna do, because that takes you back to the teleporter. Take the stairs back up. Yeah. Alright, he teleported away, so I don't have to worry about him now. I press that switch. And now I'll jump back down here again. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, see, this is rising up, so I'll wait for that. Mm, a and W root beer. Oh, looks like he's back for more. All right, he's done. His dead body teleported. He. Okay, so got several plasts to take here. I'll just take this one. No, I can't. Never mind. Sorry, it's been a while. All right, grab the blue armor. Go down there for a radiation suit. Yeah, see I just got hurt there because radiation suits are, sometimes they're leaky, so to speak. Sometimes even if you've got a radiation suit, you can still get hurt by the most damaging lava, but it, only the most damaging lava will do that to you, which is unfortunate. Especially if you've got, an, if you've got, if you're below the threshold to survive one of those, and the game fucks you over and hurts you anyway. I would rage so hard if that happened. Watch out for the douchebags here. Damn, I hate when they throw a fireball and then they immediately throw another fireball before you can even do anything. So I usually get hit by those when that happens. Kill the fat, so. You can bring that back down in case you fall in like I did on purpose there. Shit, mine's running out. 
thankfully I have brought everything up so I don't need to worry anymore. So I take this back out and this door is now open. So taking down some bads. I think our next course of action is to get over there. Press the switch. Always press switches. Oh shit. Oh come on. What a bitch. I couldn't back up and I couldn't back up in time. And again. Jeez. That see that was pitiful. I shouldn't have made that mistake, but I did. I should have gotten into cover and not let him get out like he did. But whatever. I'll just heal myself and I'll be okay. So now we go in here next. And in here there's quite a few baddies if I remember. First off we got Baron of Hell. He just teleports over there, try to trick you. And to get out you gotta press that side that looks a little different. And you get teleported here. But you're getting closer to the end now. Well, you just jib that zombie man by punching him in the face. That's great when they do that. Yeah, I'm showing him no mercy with this freaking plasma gun. My tolerance for these types of monsters is decreasing. So you got some, got some paths to take here. I'll take this one. for the Revenant, of course. Plasma Rifle is probably your best bet against Revenants because their pain chance is pretty high and a constant stream of plasma does quite a number on them. I'm trying my hardest not to die here. I'm going to take this path. Pain elemental to deal with. Press that switch. I shouldn't have made that come down. So now we can go down this path. Maybe. I don't know what to do here. Crap, I was afraid that was going to happen. Well, oh, shit. Oh, I see. You gotta go this way. Sorry, it's been a while since I've played this level seriously. Now we gotta go up here, which I know as soon as I go up here I'm gonna get attacked. But thankfully I got a plasma rifle. Okay, now we can jump back down here. And get one step closer to the end. Which can't come soon enough, I swear. I don't think he can go through that teleporter, but in case he can, I'm gonna kill him. Alright. Okay, this is the end. At this point, you just take these stairs upwards and just book for the exit. Don't even stop. And we're done.